Dear loving heart, three days. Three days, one in mercy, another in grace, and eventually sovereignty. And the cycle closes. A cycle in the Trinity. Three. Have you become sovereign? Have you completed a cycle in full integration of the frequency of love that you were supposed to integrate? What was it, really, that you found so hard to understand in this whole story that proved to be so hard from all angles? How did you do it? There is still wounding. Less than half of what it was in the beginning, but there are still wounds to heal. They are on their healing way, but the sovereignty of the situation needs at least an 80% achievement level to be integrated. And that, my dear loving heart, in this subject you have not yet achieved. Well done, though, for the 60-70% you have done so far. Let's celebrate your achievements as they are a big part of the integration process. Most people forget how important it is on the healing journey. Celebration. But that is a subject on its own, a subject for another day, another episode. Today I want to talk about the end of this cycle and how you are going to move forward. Do you have any idea? Let's explore it together. There are still wounds, deep wounds, affecting this relationship. There are questions without answers. Not many questions, but very deep and important ones. You were left in the dark to find solutions to the challenges on your own. You were promised truth, honesty, clarity, presence, and a journey together through thick and thin. Yet, this did not happen. It did not happen for many lifetimes. People have free will in different priorities. When the emotional body is imbalanced and regulation is far, far away, wounds open wider and become exposed. Wounds are raw, deep and vulnerable. You trusted, my dear loving heart, that all would go smoothly. Intense, deep, even painful but not cruel, punitive and insensitive. It was like rubbing salt in the wound. Let's look at your responsibility in this. Because as much as you want to blame the other, you also have responsibility in the creation of all these events. You are the captain of your ship. You choose the direction you want to go. So tell me, where has it all gone pear-shaped? It was the moment the fear of loss came in. The willingness to control, to possess, to speed up the outcome. Old memories of loss in this lifetime and many others, a millennium of light years ago, all determined a deep, wounding fear of loss, separation and insecurity. You are still wounded. 30 to 25%, but still wounded. So the journey continues. You need at least 50% more healing frequency to be able to stabilize and balance the damage caused. The salt still burns, the skin is still sensitive, and some parts of the wounds are still open. Take it easy, dear loving heart. I am here for you. I am your divine masculine counterpart, the one that matters, the one that looks after you, at least now I do. I'm sorry for those times when I was wounded myself and I did not show up and you had to go and find it elsewhere. But that is a conversation for another day. You are doing well. Continue to stay in forgiveness, kindness and compassion. To the self and towards others. You are steadily progressing. Some things take time, divine time. You are still under the perception that you were never a priority. You were never important enough for your wounds to be catered for in a loving and caring way. You still feel that way. The hurt, the pain, the misconception of the way things were, 
or supposed to have been, still keeps you trapped in a mindset that is keeping you on a loop. When you finally are able to accept that there is another side to the coin, with a story that you cannot control because you are not privy to all details. A story that is not yours to tell, but is entangled in your own one. A story that is not yet available for you to know right now. All you have left is patience, humility and acceptance of all that is. That, my dear loving heart, is what you are to focus on now, so you can progress to your next step of healing. In the meantime, in love,